Bullet journaling. It's out there. It's trendy. There are thousands of videos about it. But oh my god, I suck at drawing. And I don't have hours to spend creating elaborate layout. How am I supposed to apply it? I mean, is it for me? Keep watching. If you're a freelancer or you work for yourself, you, you run your own micro business, maybe you work from home, there's a ton of things you need to do. Apart from building and growing your business, you also need to feed your cat, do your laundry, look after your house, cook and look after your health. Do you really have time to sit there and make elaborate layouts and color in your weeks and months schedule? See, the way I used to organize my time, I'd write my tasks on bits of paper. I also tried doing it electronically, like putting everything on Google Calendar. The thing is, I don't like having my phone around me all the time, so that didn't work. Then one day, my wife introduced me to this thing called bullet journaling. I've been bullet journaling for over three years, and it is a lifesaver. It helps you keep track of what your projects are, watch the progress you're making, which is, is incredibly motivating, prioritize the tasks that must get done. In this video, I'm going to share with you the simple steps you can take to begin bullet journaling without being overwhelmed, but importantly, so you get the important stuff done. But keep watching till the end because after sharing the steps, I'm going to share with you extra tips and tricks to help you get the most out of it. First, you need to find yourself a journal. Any size will do. I personally prefer this small size. I like to use squares because it gives you more options to draw and draw, write on a straight line. Next, we'll prepare your journal for the week ahead. This first page is your week plan. Divide it into six boxes like this. Bigger rectangle at the top is to put your priorities. The five boxes at the bottom are for the days of the week and number them and date them according to the week ahead. First, make a list on what outcomes you need to achieve that week. Now, when you're clear on your week's priorities, the outcomes you want, slice those outcomes into tiny tasks you need to do in order to achieve that outcome. Once you slice down those tiny tasks, schedule them in the days of the week. Scripting two episodes of Coffee and Wisdom is an outcome I want to achieve this week. So I'll slice them down into tiny tasks. Monday, I will pick two episode ideas. Tuesday, I'll simply write bullet points for both episodes. Wednesday, outline stories and research ideas and creative treatments. Thursday, write a rough cut script. And Friday, edit the scripts. And I'll do exactly the same for the next outcome I want to achieve in the week. Looking at your week plan, write down what you need to do on Monday. After writing your daily activities, rank them in order of importance. And then when it comes to doing them, you do them in that order. You're very clear on what your priorities are. And then during your day, as you're doing these tasks, tick them off. And then at the end of your day, review what you've done for the day. Anything you couldn't get around to doing, you can use this little pointy signal to show that you're going to put it on the next day's task. So you keep track of anything that gets left behind so you make sure you get it done. You just simply cross out the ones you've done and then just put a line through something you decided not to do. And then finally, at the end of your day, write the next day's plan. Now, the benefit of doing this at the end of your day, writing your next day's plan is, so when you start your morning, you don't have to think about what needs to be done. You already know these are the most important tasks I need to do. And then at the end of your week, maybe you prefer Friday afternoon. I personally prefer Sunday morning. I'll carve aside half an hour simply to review your week. I simply answer two questions. What were my achievements? Where could I improve? And after you have reviewed your week, go back to step one, your week's priorities, slice them down and so on. 
So this is a simple way to get started with bullet journaling to help you with your freelancing business and your, you know, your micro business. So now I will share some tips and tricks to help you get the most out of your bullet journal. Now, if you look at the history of journals, you will notice that they have documented pivotal moments in history, breakdowns to breakthroughs. Diary of Anne Frank, Einstein, Da Vinci. See, essentially they are a collection of thoughts and ideas about people's lives. So here are some ideas on how you can get the most out of your bullet journal to document the thoughts and ideas in your life. One thing is documenting what you are grateful for every day. So every morning when you start your day, just ask yourself, what three things was I grateful for yesterday? Reminding yourself what you are grateful for helps crowd out some of the negative thoughts we are constantly fed with in the news and, and, and so on. A great thing I find useful is to track progress of my habits. Check out the episode on habit tracking. There is a link to it below for more on that. You can also use your bullet journal for inspiration, like for example, your mentor of the day, who inspired you in that day and why. Thinking and documenting what inspires you about other people helps you embody those behaviors yourself. And I also use the bullet journal every day to ask myself different questions like, what did I give? Who did I help? Who pissed me off? But the most important thing with bullet journal is to start simple because otherwise, what typically happens is we get excited with this new idea, this new thing, and we spend a lot of time starting, starting out. But when it comes to maintaining it, that's when we fall off the wagon. So just start with the simple steps and build from there. And also check out Ryder Carroll's video. His link, the link to the video is below. Share in the comments below what action will you take next? What tips and tricks will have you found useful for you? Have I missed anything? And uh, if you found this useful, please share. Thanks for watching Coffee and Wisdom. I'm Anise Kizzelbash and I will see you in a next, another video. To treat your bullet journal as a tool. Not as, isn't a tool someone stupid? <laughs>